Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's math session. Okay, we have a quick starter here where you need to find out the missing numbers. Please pause the video here and complete the starter on your whiteboards. Okay, I hope you've all had a chance to do this. Let's do it together. So, before we fill in the missing numbers, we always need to make sure we look at the pattern. Are the numbers going up or down? 16, 15. 13, 12. The numbers are getting smaller, so we are counting backwards. Okay? So what number comes after the number 16? 17. Okay, let's check. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Excellent. Well done. Let's have a look at the next one. Let's see if the pattern is going forwards or backwards. 19, 18. It's going backwards again. Well done. The numbers are going smaller by one. Let's fill in the missing numbers. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Excellent. Well done. Let's have a look at the bottom one. Okay, this we can't figure out the pattern here because we don't have numbers together. So we move on to the next one. So here we can see it goes 11, 10. The numbers are going, getting smaller. They're going backwards. Okay, so what comes after the number 4? 13, 14. Excellent. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Excellent. Well done. Let's do some daily counting. We are going to start at the number 18 today and we are stopping at the number 3. Please join in with me. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Well done. Okay, my number today is the number 23. What is 1 less than 23? Excellent. 1 less than 23 is 22. What is 1 more than 23? Excellent. 1 more than 23 is 24. Well done. Okay, join in with me while we count in 2s, 5s and 10s, starting with our 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well done. Let's count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done. Let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done. Okay, today we have a gummy ball machine and we have three friends who have got some gummy balls out the machine. I would like you to pause the video here and count how many gummy balls each child has. Okay, I hope you've all had a chance to count them. Let's count them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Anya has 15 gummy balls all together. Let's count how many gummy balls Billy has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Billy has 5 gummy balls. Now let's count Dan's gummy balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Dan has 16 gummy balls. Okay, now it's asking me who has the most gummy balls and I need to order the gummy balls from least to most. Okay, so to do this we are going to take a closer look at the numbers and compare them. So let's have a look at the number 15 closer. We have 1 10 and 5 ones. In the number 5 we have no tens but we have 5 ones. In the number 16 we have 1 10 and 6 ones. So if you have a look we're finding the smallest number because we can start off with the least. The smallest number 
The number 15 and the number 16 both have one 10. The number 5 has no 10, it just has 5 ones. So our smallest number is the number 5. So we're going to start off by number 5. Now we're going to compare the number 15 and 16. They both have one 10. So we're looking at the ones column. So we've got 6 and 5. Is the number 5 smaller or the number 6? Excellent, the number 5. Therefore, the number 15 is smaller than the number 16. So I'm going to write my number 15 down. And then my largest number is the number 16. So I'm going to put that at the end. I've now ordered the numbers from the smallest to largest. We've got 5, 15 and 16. So who had the most gummy balls? Was it Anya, Billy or Dan? Excellent, well done. Dan had the most gummy balls. Excellent. Okay, moving on. We are moving on to today to comparing and ordering our numbers. So here I have three sets of cubes. I would like you to order the numbers from smallest to largest. Okay, pause the video here and have a go. Excellent. I hope you've all had a chance to do this. Let's do it together. We have the number 16, 19 and 12. We can take a closer look at these numbers. We've got 1, 10 and 6 ones. In the number 19, we have 1, 10 and 9 ones. In the number 12, we have 1, 10 and 2 ones. Excellent. Okay, so we're looking for the smallest number first. So let's first compare our tens column. All three numbers have one set of ten. Okay, now we're going to move on to the ones column. We've got six, nine, and two. Which number is the smallest? Six, nine, or two? Excellent, two. So our smallest number is the number 12. I'm going to put that down first because we're ordering from smallest to largest. Now I'm looking for the second smallest number. We've got 16 and 19 to compare. They both have the same amount of tens. We're looking at the ones column. We've got six and nine. Which number is smaller, six or nine? Excellent, six. So my next smallest number is 16. So I'm going to put that down, cross it off. So I know I've done it. And we are left with the number 19. Number 19 is our largest number. Okay, so now I've ordered my numbers from smallest to largest, 12, 16, and 19. Excellent. Okay, this time you are ordering the numbers from largest to smallest. So we can start with the biggest number first. So please pause the video here and have a go at ordering these three numbers. Okay, I hope you've all had a chance to do that. Our numbers are 13, 10, and 17. Okay, so let's look at, take a closer look at these numbers. In the number 13, I have 1, 10, and 3 ones. In the number 10, I have 1, 10, and 0 ones. In the number 17, I have 1, 10, and 7 ones. Okay, so we are looking for the largest number, the biggest number. Okay, they all have the same amount of tens. We're looking at our ones column. We've got 3, 0, and 7, which is our largest number. Seven. Therefore, number 17 is our largest number. I'm going to put that first because I'm ordering from largest to smallest. And then I'm looking at number 13 and 10. They both have the same amount of tens. We're looking at the ones column. We've got three and zero. Is three bigger or zero? The number three. So we've got 13 is larger than the number 10. So that's going next. And we are left with the number 10. And number 10 is our smallest number. We have ordered our numbers smallest to largest, 17, 13, and 10. Excellent. Our next one is asking us to order our numbers from smallest to largest. So you've got three numbers again on your whiteboards. Can you order them smallest to largest? Off you go. Excellent. Well done. Let's have a look at it together. We have number 14, 12, and 13. Okay. So in the number 14, I have 1, 10 and 4 ones. In the number 12, I have 1, 10 and 2 ones. In number 13, I have 1, 10 and 3 ones. So I'm looking for the smallest number. All three of my numbers have the same amount of 10. So I'm looking at the ones column. We've got 4, 2 and 3. The smallest number is number 2. So our number 12 is our smallest number. And we're going to start with 12. And then we're moving on to the second Number so is it 13 smaller or 14? Look, they've got the same amount of 10. So we look at the ones column, which is smaller, 3 or 4. Excellent, 3. So 
13 comes next and we are left with the number 14. There we are, we have ordered our numbers from smallest to largest, 12, 13, 14, well done. Okay, here it looks slightly different, it's asking me to tick the largest number, the biggest number. So you read the numbers, 10, 17, 7, 8, 19, which is my largest number. Excellent, the number 19, put a tick. Now it's asking me to circle the smallest number. So I'm going to have a look at the numbers I have, 10, 17, 7, 8, 19, which is my smallest number. Excellent, the number seven. Oh, was I supposed to put a tick? Nope. Circle the smallest number. Well done. Okay, now in your home learning packs, you are going to find this worksheet. And you're doing the same as we've done. You are ordering the numbers smallest to largest. So in these three boxes, you're ordering the numbers smallest first, largest at the end. Complete all six of these questions and then you have a challenge to complete. Once you have completed the worksheet, please take a picture and upload it to Class Dojo. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.